Um, you know, on Wisconsin, um, there is no automatic recount there. Um, but if the vote is within 1%, which it is, then uh, the loser can request uh, a recount. And I think they probably have to fund it or something is added to it. So uh, it's certainly possible. Um, we are going to win Wisconsin, um, recount or no recount. We are ahead. We have a very clear sense of the votes that are there, the votes that are in, um, what's left outstanding, as we talked about, and we're very confident uh, that Wisconsin is, is ours and we will, um, we will uh, continue to, to stay ahead there. Um, you know, when it comes to Latino vote in this country, it is a, a, a very diverse uh, population across many of our states. The vice president received uh, support from tens of millions of Latinos um, last night. And, and as you mentioned, um, states like Arizona that have been called, Nevada, where we are ahead, um, really strong support. Um, obviously, in Florida, uh, Donald Trump overperformed uh, his numbers with Cuban uh, American voters. Um, the vice president did not underperform. Um, we just saw uh, Donald Trump increase uh, his support with the Cuban American vote. Um, I, I feel like we had an incredibly um, strong, robust, uh, really in-depth, customized uh, program across our core states led by just such an amazing team uh, of uh, leaders on our campaign, um, building content um, and engaging with uh, Latino voters uh, in person, online, on TV, uh, on the phone in every way possible. And I think that our support um, and the, the work of our team uh, showed bright with uh, the, the millions of Latinos that supported us and in particular helped us uh, take a historic uh, victory in, in a place like uh, Arizona.